uh, is an organizer with About Face, Veterans Against the War. She ran for Congress from Staten Island and Brooklyn in 2022, did an amazing job. She is a tremendous organizer and she has something for us to do. And I um, want to bring her up to, so she can tell you about it. Thank you, Sally. Thank you to everyone who took time out of your day to be here as a witness, as an advocate, as a New Yorker. My name is Brittany Ramos de Barros. I'm a woman, I'm white, I'm Latina, I'm black, I'm a combat veteran, and every single identity that I hold demands solidarity with Palestine and justice for Palestinians. It took me several days to process Aaron Bushnell's profound action and sacrifice precisely because I know that as a former service member myself alongside so many veterans who have dedicated our lives in reparations for the violence that we participated in, agree and deeply feel the call that led him to take that action that has moved people around the world. And yet I know that the reason that that action moved so many Americans to discussion is because when we talk about dropping bombs, when we talk about dropping tens of thousands of bombs on Gaza, most Americans don't understand that that means that people are burning to death by the thousands. Most Americans don't understand that that means that every time a bomb drops, people's bodies are being obliterated into pieces. Most Americans don't understand that when we say that we are bopping us, that we are dropping a single bomb, that that means entire villages, entire areas of infrastructure, entire cultures and families obliterated. And yet in Aaron's own words, the extremity of what he experienced and chose as his last act is nothing compared to what Palestinians have suffered, not just since October, but for decades. If you're here, it's because you're someone who already knows that. But from the position that I speak, people who are gonna be compelled by a moral argument, if they haven't been compelled by the immorality and injustice of what Palestinians have been experiencing by the videos and photos that all of us have watched, sometimes the direct horrifying voicemails and text messages from loved ones, then they will not be moved. And so if morality will not move them, I beg them to be moved by strategy. How many times will we do the same thing with the same logic that tells us that somehow, illogically, we can bomb our way to peace? How many times will we be fooled by the idea that we can kill our way to safety? There is nothing irrational about what anyone is doing in the face of this conflict except for believing those lies. There is no military solution because to drop bombs, to destroy arts and culture and families and language and infrastructure is antithetical to the stability that is necessary in order to create safety. The safety that all of us want in the region and beyond. As, about, as a member of About Face, I am proud to be a part of a member of a member-based organization of veterans across the country who are clear on this and learned this truth through violence in many cases. I'll never be able to make right the fact that as a young person, I believed, bought and paid for politicians who told me that I was going to do justice with the barrel of a gun who manipulated the innate desire for community and service 
that so many of us hold as human beings to serve their corrupt and evil purposes. I am not interested in continuing to demonstrate. I am not interested in continuing to speak truth to power. I have seen the rotten core of corruption that exists in the deepest areas of our government. And I am interested in taking power. I am interested in building a society and a government that is actually accountable to its people. As a private citizen, a proud New Yorker, that's why on April 2nd, I will be casting a blank ballot. It is not a left-wing position to be against the slaughter of tens of thousands of people. It is not a left-wing position to be against spending billions on death and destruction while our libraries and our schools and our neighborhoods funds are cut the kinds of things that actually make our communities safe right. Right. Thank you. that is a human position that is the position of the majority of voters in this goddamn country that is the position of the majority of new yorkers and do not let anyone ever goad you into allowing ourselves to play into the lie that this movement is fringe, that this movement is marginal. We are many, we are millions. And in New York, in this primary, if you are a registered voter who can vote in the Republican or Democratic primaries, you have an opportunity to go on record making your opposition to the genocidal decisions of our current president and making your voice heard. So I urge you, check out leaveitblankny.com, sign the pledge, share it with every New Yorker that you know. Early voting is March 23rd through March 30th, and election day is April 2nd. Each one of us has an opportunity to do this, and we have a short time to get the word out. So please, check it out, spread the word, and chant with me. Leave it blank! Leave it blank! Leave it blank! Leave it blank! Leave it blank for Palestine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Brittany. And now we're going to